Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys is doing absolutely great today. I want to share with you how to make this food and restaurant banner design. Jumping into this, let's check the intro. Tickography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good evening guys welcome back to the graphic design training i believe we're all doing fine where we are today today i'm going to uh, teach you how you can make a professional restaurant banner Smart when using your PC lab as usual. Don't forget to hit Today, the subscribe button this, and the bell icon. We are going icon. to follow three steps. The first step is how to use our mask to carve out some shapes. Second step is how to combine our fonts. The third step is how to arrange our element in hierarchical orders so that we can follow the principle of alignment. I know I'm talking too much, but let's get started. Kindly stick around and watch so that you can learn a new skill. The first thing we are going to do is to determine our size. I want to use this size, 1280 by 1280. After that, I have to use my bezier tools for me to be able to form the shape I want to use. Let's take it for instance. I want to use this particular area, which you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to just uh, move this to this particular edge. After moving it to that edge, the next thing I'm going to do is to just uh, tap another one. So let me move it towards this edge. So the next thing is to just uh, I've click on this. So I've click on this, then tap on it, tap on it, and I'm going to click on this. Sorry, this is just a mistake. I'm going to move it to this side tap on it then click which you can see now that you can see i need to just do some magic here before i will run everything up the magic i'm going to do is this i'm going to turn this up or turn this up then this one that is here uh, is going to be turned down which you can see turn down why this will go up i want to make it simple for you guys so turn it up let it be around here why this is turned down now this next thing i'm going to do after turning it down you can see turn this down actually then i'm going to bring this up which you can see i'm going to bring this up so yeah, 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 uh, let this one come here this one come here very good let it be straight then this one will just go up like this very good so now after making it then i can make this one draw it down a bit so that it look like it's going to level with this why this one will go up exactly like this but you just don't change this let this one go up on its own after making it that we tap on this then you form another shape one form another one two then you come here and close it sorry you come here and close it now it is closed you can now bring it down bring it down like this for you to be able to see clearly what you are doing tap on this for you to uh, form your actions so now that it is there you can now readjust very well this is where you readjust so you can just uh, move it up just make sure it's balanced so for instance if i were you i would just move it in since you have this you can use it to rotate and this is actually cool now that you have that then we are going to level this as well so you make sure it come down here you understand let it come down here then you use it to form like this look at it now increase the opacity to 100 your stroke should be removed then you have this as you can see now the next thing i'm going to do i want to still adjust this 
I'm coming here, tap on the best, uh, uh, best there, then I want to adjust this. So I'm moving this towards the edge. So I'm going to tap on it. After tapping, I will click it OK again. Then I will just position it around here. Then click on it again. So that one will allow me to just uh, do the justice to it. Very, very good. Very good. So it will allow me to do a justice to this. So it must form what is supposed to form. So very good, very good. This is just beautiful. Now, after that, the next thing I'm going to do, I have to shift this towards the edge. Then I will adjust this as well. Very good. So now, reposition very well. Let it be reposition. So on reposition it, we are going to copy. So click OK. You have this to be copy. Then tap on edit. Move it up exactly like this. So on getting here, the next thing you are going to do, just tap on this, click on this, then you bring it down, bring it down very well, as you can see. So after bringing it down, we are going to lower the two again. So we tap on it and move it to this side. You click on this, return it back to where it's supposed to be. Then you tap on it for you to do your actual minimization. So this is plumb. You can tap on it again, click on this and tap on this. Then you move it to this side. So as you relieve it, you can be able to level this to just a minimal background, which you can see, see the result. So now everything is actually cool. You can now click OK. So give let's give this one a color for us to differentiate between the two. And after that, we are going to increase it. So increasing. Are going to increase. So after Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. See what actually the problem is. This one is dragging with the first one, so we are going to click the head it. We we'll move it to this side, so we are going to bring it down. So you can see, we we'll bring it down like this. Then we can drag this one to one corner too. So where we are going to tap, just tap on this, and we are going to bring it down why this one go in then we click ok so now let's look at it and see how it is i think uh, it's actually ok like this so let's do something we we'll come here then we we'll rotate so it should be okay like this i'm coming let's click on edit tap on this and move it so move it to the horse edge like this you can reduce so very good so when you move it that way the next thing to do is click ok Let's rotate it back. We cancel. Then we can move it out like this for us to see clearly. So now you see what I just did. Everything is actually plumb, but I'm thinking towards uh, this particular area where we have this. So this is not actually moving. It will be like this. Where we click OK. Good. Then we can position and have this exactly like this. Good. So after achieving our aim like that, the next thing you are going to do is to give this a different color as well. So we are going to give it different color, not the same thing. So on getting there, we need to fast so that we won't waste much of our time. We are going to choose a background. The background we are going to choose, uh, let's use this particular background, deep blue. Then we have an overlay being downloaded, so I'm going to position it here. Then I will send it to the back. Send it back. Then I will have it uh, lock as well. After locking it, I'm going back to my gallery. Just select this particular shape. I mean the burger. Then I'm going to position it here. And as you can see, 
everything is actually what actually cool so on placing it here the next thing to do is to lock it so after locking it then what i'm going to do next i'm going to import other elements one after the other to make it a look professional for instance this will be bringing here i will bring everything before i will lock it so i have this thing being blown in another uh, uh, app pizzas so you can actually that is how i did that then i will go there position this again have it lock the last element i'm going to bring just to make it for we call it a chat we call it chat icon i can so after importing everything everything i will have it lock so unlocking it then i can go on with my shape as you can see do the rotation a little bit just reduce the size uh, after reducing the size like this reducing it then i will have it move and position under here then i can actually reduce it to a bare minimal level so have it position under here exactly like this then on positioning the next thing i'm going to do is to just uh we'll have this like this just to give it a color so i use my color picker to pick from the color of the uh background actually so let's choose from background or let's choose from here or let's choose from background exactly like this so and if i want to do it make it cool I will just use the color picker, pick it. So now that we have done that, you just uh, from here, use your uh, gradient. Then you see what I did. I just use the color picker, pick the color of the background. That was the first thing. I come here on the second one, use the color picker, which you can see, sorry. Color picker, then you pick this color, mm -hmm. making to right just tap on it then you see what i achieve about that then after position that i will go on with my right up so for instance here i will have fresh and tasty which you can see fresh and tasty so we should have a space in between this so in having a space you go here under the font then let's look at the font we can so I discover we can don't use, forget uh, to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon tasty so this one will be able to go along with it then we have it reduced a bit then we'll go to the color area have our color like this you understand then we are going to click on it again copy then we have deleted it then we type burger that is the next thing that we are going to do we need to type poker so and how can we do that so let um, let type poker so we have something like this but is it actually okay or we type it because it has to be like this coming from here where we have burger ball or well, let's do it this way we have to delete the p are you getting it so deleting the b we'll be able to position it here and we type the b separately so we type the b separately so we'll go to the padding to allow all the text in. so we're going to put that here which you can see and it has to be even a little bit far so let's rotate it a bit and it has to be here or let it fly a bit then here we are going to have this have this so after having in then we'll make sure that uh, we increase the size exactly like this and we have a position here and as you can see how it's shown very very cool and okay so the next thing we are going to do we'll make this uh, particular burger sit down very well so we are coming here making it sit down by making it come here so after that we have already created a little space so we are going to tap on this now move it up a bit. sorry move it up a bit sorry we tap on the fresh and tasty we'll move it up a bit we tap on the burger 
will move it up a bit, which you can see. The same thing applicable mm -hmm. to this B. We move it up a bit. And everything is actually plug. So the next thing we are going to do is to write limited time offer. You understand? So we are going to copy the one at the top. Copy this. So we are going to have limited time offer. Limited time offer. So on having this, we are going to position this here. Then we change the color to this. So we we'll make it uh, look exactly like this. So we won't allow it yet. So this one will take it another color. So let's give it a white color. We'll copy this as well. we we'll give it a white color. Why this one will just be in front. And everything will actually plump. So the next thing we are going to do. We'll come here for instance. We will have so let delete so we we'll have this kind this kind so when we type with this kind will come here under the font area we are selecting bibas font which you can see selecting the bibas font but bringing it down here and we'll have it to reduce the minimal level so we'll go to the space and space it for easily for to be easy to reach so on position it to that area we're going to fix it in here then sorry we'll copy then i'm going to edit where we have 20 So we are going to have a 20% off so we tap on this so we click now increasing the size have it position inside this box we reduce it more position it well good so after position we are coming here so uh, order now. Then we are going to use achievo funds. Achievo, achievo. So let's use uh, achievo both. Then we have it to reduce our position here. From getting there, we are going to increase. Then set and arrange it. Now this one is okay. So the next thing we are going to do, we put the address, the email address. So we are going to have www.poker.com. So we'll bring, sorry. To lock everything. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Lock everything. Then we bring that here. Good. Let's go to the font area. Change the font. Tachivo semi boot or Archivo regular. Now space it. now after reducing it we can change the color to black so you go to color area change it to color click on plus sign and you move this to the edge now you have this being done then the next thing is to put your right order right up by coming here you have you have call for delivery call for delivery you can see so we have this area call for delivery so this is actually set so making this set 
we can position that sorry we can just bring this have it lock then we can position that here then we have it reduced exactly and the space in between should be reduced then we increase this a bit now we can put a phone number by copy this so that copy order so we we'll have we we'll have Four seven zero three four six six zero seven eight one. So we we'll have this, which we are going to position under this. So we we'll have something like this. Then increase the size. Have it positioned here, exactly like this. Then we are going to give it a black color as well, and you can see how everything is plump. So now making it that way then we are already done with everything as you can see and this is very very okay very simple to achieve now that this piece is very small we can increase the size a bit then we'll move it towards that place to form so very good then there should be a little space so we increase yeah very good and this is just a simple way or now you can make uh, this particular uh, full flyer, I mean full banner on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. And I believe this is helpful. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Just save with uh, what with ultra dimension as I do tell you and your format to be in PNG for color resolution to be okay. Thanks for watching once again. God bless you. Stay blessed till we see in the